Yeah. Um, thank you very much, Chairman. I, I too want to welcome uh, uh, these people from the HSE here, Michael Fitzgerald, Arno O'Connell, Dr. Jung, and others. I didn't get the names, maybe. Um, look, we, we all uh, agree that this, this has been a terrible uh, 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 neglect or hurt of, of so many young uh, children in South Kerry. And we all know that, um, that boys and girls, as they grow into men and women, and while, they, 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 while their body changes physically, they have, they, many do have mental health problems. And uh, I regret that, um, <clears throat> that what seems to be, have been happen happening in many instances, and I believe it is going on outside of the numbers that we have been dealing with in the last few months since, since we, the report came out. What seems to be happening is uh, pumping drugs into these uh, lovely children, and it changes their that change their personality so much, slow them down. Uh, has the effect of increasing weight, their personality to totally changes, they stop smiling. I have seen it back over the years. And, uh, but it, it has happened in, in, in greater numbers as we see in the last five years in South Kerry. And it's not acceptable. What we need is more psychologists to talk to these young people, not Give them time, they need to get time, rather than giving them injections and sending them out the door and just these drugs that have an effect, of, like I said, of slowing them down and changing their personalities completely. The, the issue of compensation for these children that have been uh, affected, all of those that have been affected, I don't think they can ever be adequately compensated for what has been done to their lives, and uh, it's terrible, back over so many years. And I, the question that I'm asking now, uh, what's going to happen from today on? There's children developing mental health issues, if we, if we want to talk, say that that's the word to describe it. They're developing issues, and they have to be seen to today by people, uh, or, or by psychiatrists. But um, I'm worried, I, I still worry, and I'm not satisfied that, that, that we're going to have a system in place where someone is looking over the shoulder of the person that's meeting out the, the, the medication or whatever uh, synopsis uh, of, <coughs> of, uh, you know, that should be carried out by the, by the doctors or whoever to ensure that these people get back and track again. I, I mean, there must be some control, and I mean to think that someone was f four or five whole years um, d doing this work and, 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 um, and let so many people down. I mean, the parents and the children did nothing at all wrong. And was it the way that this, uh, uh, on, whose, uh, on what instructions did this locum the doctor think he was doing right. Or, or, I mean, there should be should have been a review of what he was doing on a weekly basis, if not even a daily basis. I mean, people people only get one chance on this earth. They they they, they don't uh, if they fail and 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 go down and and go down on themselves. It's very hard to bring them back up and and. Um, we will have to ensure that something, uh, some some better structures are put in place. And I'm asking, as well as psychiatrists, do, do should we have more psychologists? Because I believe that mental health issues can uh, can be uh, you know helped or, or you know by talking to people, and that's what psych psychologists do. Do we have enough of those? And will there, will there be enough of them? And as for the, the, the question that I, I'm asking is, um, 
into the future from today on. How are we going to deal better than we have been dealing? And I mean, I can't understand why we can't, um, why we can't get a, a senior consultant. But even at that, I don't think one consultant is enough. There should be, and 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 I I have them. Um, Arno O'Connor saying that, that there should be should be a team, but we we'll have to ensure that there is. And we hear of massive sums uh, being, uh, we'll say, allocated to the to the Department of Health each year in the budget, and and uh, yet it's not manifesting itself as far as mental health issues are concerned. Don't carry anywhere. Let every let uh, every. Um, let every uh, person uh, that's representing other counties, they'll have to, to talk about their counties. But I, as well as that, I, I do think that the structure where, where this has, got, has gone on for five years is totally wrong. And when we had, I believe, and I have been a believer since my father's time, that when the regional health boards were in place, there was more there was more interaction with doctors and consultants, and if there was a local issue, just like this in, in community care or, or, or primary care, it was discussed around the table and it was sorted out. We don't, there, there doesn't seem to be the accountability that's needed. So look, I, what I'm asking, what assurance can he give that from here on, that, uh, that that um, that will have a service that's proper to deal with these mental health issues that develop in young people. And I suppose the other question is, I'm asking to ensure, without delay, that, um, that, uh, that these people whose lives have been totally uh, ruined, that uh, that some comp that proper compensation is made available to them. So, so um, deputy, maybe if I just give a general view, Michael can come in. Uh, but I suppose what I can say to you is that we are fully committed to implementing the recommendations in this report. Uh, so we accept them in full. Um, and we will do everything to ensure that we develop a better service for, for everybody and particularly um, for the people in South Kerry. Uh, I think, you know, from, from our perspective, there are many um, considerations in terms of how we deliver our services on foot of this, and certainly the, the three pieces of work that we're embarking on will help inform us in our thinking further. Uh, we do have, uh, so in terms of giving assurance that we will have the service that we would all wish for. Uh, whilst we will do everything we can on that, uh, there is a very real challenge in terms of workforce availability at this time. And we are looking at that in terms of growing numbers of people in training, growing doctors in training. And we have more consultants coming out this year who are CAMS qualified than we've ever had, um, et cetera, and investing in more nursing and so on. Uh, but, but there is, a, I suppose, a finite resource available. And our challenge is to make sure that we make the best use of the resource that is available uh, to us as we we seek to develop our services and implement sharing the vision, which is the policy that we are all working to. But I might ask Michael specifically in respect of Kerry to, to come in on that. Uh, yeah, so thanks, Anne. And um, uh, I, I share your concerns, uh, Deputy Healy Ray, uh, uh, tremendously. Um, it's been a real concern, I have to say, since this started to unfold from my perspective. Um, and uh, throughout the look back process, um, you know, I've been chairing those particular meetings on a weekly basis myself. Uh, last Friday, uh, I met with uh, a, a representative group of the families, a hugely constructive meeting from my perspective, and I hope that was of support and benefit to them and one of many that we will uh, continue to work with them on. Uh, in, and to answer your, I suppose, direct question is that uh, for the children affected um, and who are today needing uh, supports or requiring further supports, I mean, we, have, we will be setting up and I will be writing to the families as well involved uh, a clinical support liaison team who will work with individuals 
uh, with the individual families and the individuals themselves or those who, uh, who wish to do so. And they'll work as, as key workers with them to support them and to advocate on their behalf as well with regards to services. But to have we ensure that where it is at all possible that we can give them that service and give it to them in a timely manner. I think that's an important piece uh, and I committed to that as well with the representative group that we met last Friday. So I'm hoping to be writing to the, to the families uh, later this week. Um, I think the other piece, which is important, which you go back to the point of you're saying, you know, the oversight of what happened and how and why it went on for so long. And I think uh, Dr. Maskey's report, he, he, he looks at that in some great detail. And we heard earlier where the supervision of the NCHD was more for the, the NCHD to take up rather than it being a necessity for the person to do so. And I think that was a key uh, issue that was there. And there's huge learnings in that, of course, for all services. But anyway, to come back, I suppose, just to the, to the children in concern, they will continue to be our focus. They will be continue to be at the centre of it. Um, and, they will, and we will continue to work with them through the clinical support team now that will be in place from Monday next um, for the purposes of ensuring that we can match them to the right services and to try to ensure that where we at all possible can, we'll provide those services to them.